Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have the Witch's Moon to share with you guys. I'm really excited. I do not... I don't remember the theme to this. I know the roots was was Freya, but I, I'm not 100% sure on this, one, on this one. So let's just get into this and see what we have for the Witch's Moon for the month of March. My tripod has been messed with, so I don't know. Hopefully, I will get it figured out, but... Alright. Ooh. Well, there's your spoiler. The witch's bosom. The bosom, however you want to say it. Okay. So, it says, As you pass through the veil into your sanctuary, you find yourself captured by everything. Each item seems to be filled with a sense of life. The feelings of freedom and inspiration begin to overwhelm you. You catch a glimpse of something beautiful above the doorway. Before you can blink, your eyes are directed to the altar positioned in the center of the space. Placed delicately upon the altar table sits a besom. As, as you pick it up, the smoke from the incense drifts in between each bristle, swirls around the handle, and finally makes its way to the heavens. A faint whisper can be heard, the sweeper of storms. You have developed this exclusive collection for a very long time and are filled with excitement to finally share these beautiful items with you. In this one-of-a-kind collection, we journey through the mundane to reach the magical, a place where intentions become purpose and power. It is our deepest intention that these items bring the gift of transformation to all of those who receive them. The magical items in this box are as followed. All right, and that is everything I just read. Two lovelies. So, I think we know we're probably getting a brew. Right here is my card. Ooh. Peacock Ore Beauty. It says, Peacock Ore has bright, beautiful sparkles res resembling a peacock's feather. Peacocks are proud. They like to strut around displaying their beauty. Peacock Ore reminds us we are equally equally beautiful and need to embrace it more often. Release your perceived imperfections and the need to compare yourself to others. Add color to yourself and your wardrobe to make your beauty stand out. You are one of a kind and beautiful on the inside and out. Affirmation is I accept my appearance and see my beauty. beauty. That's a beautiful card. I have no idea what deck this is. I do not have any Peacock Ore, so... Need to see if I could get my hands on some. So the first thing I'm pulling out is Sweeper of Storms with a little incantation. I like that. That's beautiful. And then our other sheet is of Amethyst. If you want to pause and read about the properties of Ameth Amethyst, you can do so. And then here is our large book of shadow sheet and everything on on the besom. Besom, besom, I'm always like, I just say broom. That's what I say. <laughs> Old habits die hard. Like, it's just a broom. But anyways, it's a beautiful book of shadow sheet. But there it is. If you guys want to take a look at it and pause and read about it. Let me get these up so you can see all of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see that. They did not want to stand. They did not want to stand up. So the first thing I'm pulling out is this, which is our candle. It's it beautiful. White. It smells lovely. It smells lovely. And then we have our incense sticks, which is sage sweep. And they smell, they smell really good. They have a, I'm, I guess it is sage, but it has a very clean, has a clean scent to it as well. And then we have this little cutie. I like that. And there is there is a little amethyst on there. I like that. It looks like you guys can see. It looks like there's like roots 
roots in it. But I like that. Okay. We have this. I'm already at five minutes. I'm wondering if I wonder if it showed me struggling trying to get I didn't pause it when I was trying to get everything up you guys but anyways here's our our our, 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 our oil it is resin and it smells good I have lotion on my hands so I'm getting like a mint like a mint scent but I, I like it something like this It is our herbs. We have a eucalyptus. And that's Sybil making all that noise. Spearmint. And sacred space sweep. Ooh, I love it when we get soaps and boxes. This is the first time I've ever got a soap from them. I've been getting them for a while, so. What did it say? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but it is a peppermint soap. It is, so I love it. It smells like peppermint and um, just, just clean soap. I like that. I guess I have to excuse my nails. They're all, I've been outside digging, so. <laughs> They're dirty. I should have, I should have cleaned under them before I started this video, but. Oh, well. All right. And then we have our last item, I believe. Yep. And it looks like this. And it's called The Witch's Broom, The Craft, Lore, and Magic of Broomsticks by Deborah Blake. Here is the back. It says, bless the witch and bless the broom, bless the sp spirit that lies inside, sweeping clear each household room so peace and harmony there reside. Ooh, I like that. It says, take a magical flight into the history, tradition, and modern uses of broomsticks. Whether sweeping the floor or helping with spells, rituals, and crafts, the broom is a more versatile tool than you have ever imagined. Join Dever Blake on a journey through the ages, exploring why broomsticks and witches have always been an inseparable pair. Enjoy broom lore insights from well-known witchy authors and instructions for buying or making your own broom for special occasions. From Besoms to, to Broom Core, the Witch's Room is the, the perfect guide for adding a new faucet to your magical practice. Have a nice flight. And it is a she's hardback. And ooh, it says, May you take flight upon the Witch's Broom, bring a magic and wonder into your practice. Supposed to be the Witch's Moon. So I wonder if this is a Witch's Moon exclusive, but it's hardcover. Here is some uh, blurbs. And then there's Broom Lore, which is a broom. Oh, look at that. Ye old broom shop. Here is information about Deborah Blake if you want to know more about her. I think I have. Uh, I think she has more books than just this. I know I've read stuff from her before. Dedication. And then here is the table of contents. We have broom in history, traditions, and lore. The witch's broom and popular culture. Broom basics. A broom of your own. Fast and easy spells, charms, crafts, and more. And then we have specialty brooms. Brooms for special occasions and brooms in ritual use. And we have For the Young Witch, 
and then the conclusion. And let's see how many pages she is. Two hundred and two hundred and eighty six pages. Recommended. There's a nice little list of recommended reading, and I love when books do that. So that's a plus. And is there anything else back here? Appendix. Acknowledgements. And let's see what else. In conclusion. So that is everything. Oh, and it has a little ribbon. It has a little ribbon bookmark. All right, well, I'm excited to read this. So I will let you know what I think about it when I get into it. So let's look over our paperwork really quickly. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm just all over the place today. Okay. So the first thing they say is The Witch's Moon, ex exclusive hardcover of The Witch's Broom by Deborah Blake. So it is an exclusive edition for The Witch's Moon. If you guys want to pause and read what they have to say about it, you can do so there. And then we have The Witch's Moon, exclusive handcrafted ritual altar broom. It says the bristles of this broom is created from a mixture of Elysian, Elysian plants, Vetiver root. The first one is also called goosegrass, so it's closely related to dreams and ancient wisdom and prosperity. And the other root is an agent, an agent of tranquility and emotional calm. The combination of roots char charges each use with a sense of magical transformation. The colorful twine has been found around the top of bristles, which holds an amethyst crystal. And there's quite a, a lot more there if you guys want to read about it. And then we have Sweeper of Storms, Book of Shadow artwork, which is gorgeous. Then there is the Besom Book of Shadows artwork. Then we have the Amethyst Book of Shadows, and they are all, um, of course, done by A.E. Alden and written by um, G. G. Ibis. And then we have the hand-rolled and anointed purity of purpose spell candle. It says it has been anointed with the oils of clary sage and sage containing the power of virtual cleanse and energy around you. And it says the spell candle can also be used within the consecrating and blessings of your broom. Then we have the exclusive um, besom oil. It is, uh, it has sage, clary sage, and spearmint oils, accompanied with peppermint leaf, licorice root, clove, to create a fresh realization of well-being. Including within this oil is a quartz crystal to empower the seed of intention. In addition, a few drops of our banishing anointing oil has been included into the splint to, to charge its use. And the base of this oil is sunflower oil. Then we have the handmade, that I don't know how to pronounce, peppermint ritual sacred soap. And it is made with olive oil, soybean oil, coconut oil, canola oil, sunflower oil, Organic shea butter, water, lye, peppermint leaves, and fragrance. Then we have the Sage Sweep Ritual Incense Sticks. Then we have Eucalyptus, Spearmint Leaf, and Sacred Space Sweep. Uh, it says the Sacred Space is a potent mixture of blessed thistle to protect and heal, bear vein for peace and purification, and bone set for exorcism and sage for wisdom. And then we have the personalized oracle reading that is from the Crystal Blessings deck by Villasina Chan. I cannot pronounce anything today. And they talk about the extra par parchment and they say find magical in all that you do for every act, every emotion, every interaction is but a thread weaved into the future. Know what you do Know what you do 
irrefutably, irrefutably matters. Our intentions for creating this collection are crafted for the sole benefit of your continued growth and protection. May happiness and a sense of wonder be seated at your table. May your ritual be performed with beauty and grace. As we speak it, so it is. Blessed be the witch's moon. March 2024. And here's everything that I just tried to read to you guys. But there's a lot to go into. If you want to pause and read about it, you can. And again, there's the first page, which I think I already showed you guys. But there it is in case I didn't. And again, you have your blatant parchment. So... This is everything um, from them for the month of March, and I love it. I can't wait to get into the book. Anytime I get a book, I'm like I'm good to go. I'm happy, and I do like like I do like this little room, and I like like that it's made of roots. That's that is very unique and neat, and I can't wait. I can't wait to use it. So, uh, let me know down below what you guys thought about this box and what was your favorite thing. I'm going to go with a book because I don't have it. And then, and then I like the, the broom as well. But I just, I think it's a well-rounded box. And I will, I'm going to try to start. I have so many, like, reviews on witchy books. I'm going to try to start getting into them and doing uh, reviews on books. But it's just, it's taken me a bit to figure out how I'm going to do it. So, I will let you know once, what I think about this once I'm done with it. But that is it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting my channel. I hope all of you guys are having a beautiful day. And until next time, all of you, please stay safe and live well.